Welcome back to America Needs Fatima's series on the angels. While their abilities are extraordinary, even more sublime is their mission. Come with me as I explore the mysteries surrounding God's most faithful ministers, the admirable creatures we call the angels. How could a man be an angel of the apocalypse? Why is St. Vincent Ferrer portrayed with angel wings? Stay tuned to uncover the mystical connection between St. Vincent Ferrer, the Fatima message, and the role of angels in defending the honor of God. Today, we delve into the life of St. Vincent Ferrer, a Dominican friar known as the Angel of the Apocalypse. St. Vincent Ferrer was born in Valencia in 1350 and emerged as a beacon of faith during the challenging era of the Great Western Schism. St. Vincent Ferrer's journey within the Dominican order and mastery of theology positioned him as one of the era's greatest theologians and preachers. Amidst the confusion of the Great Western Schism, St. Vincent found himself disoriented, but soon received a divine mission. The Dominican friar fervently followed the anti-popes of Avignon before he received a transformative vision. Christ himself entrusted Vincent with the role of an apostolic preacher, announcing the imminent coming of the Antichrist and preaching conversion before the end of the world. The angelic prophet, as he came to be known, boldly proclaimed the impending trials and tribulations of the chastisement, echoing the spirit of the prophets of old. Isn't this incredible story of the Catholic faith fascinating? If only more true stories like these were being told. This is the exact reason why we feature stories like this so often in Crusade Magazine. Crusade Magazine is our full-color, fully Catholic magazine that we have been printing for over 35 years. We fill Crusade Magazine with inspiring stories of the saints, spiritual guides, and wisdom from the Bible and Catholic news and opinions on what's happening in the world around us. Crusade Magazine is one of the gifts you will receive when you sign up to become a Child of Mary member. As soon as you sign up to become a Child of Mary, you will receive a subscription to Crusade Magazine, a beautiful metal lapel pin featuring the image of the pilgrim statue of Our Lady, and your name and intentions will be sent immediately to a local priest who will offer a full Catholic Mass for you every morning, 365 days a year. We have a special intention for our liturgy today, for our Mass. America needs Fatima's children of Mary. And especially uh, we offer this divine liturgy for Lucy Cosgrove, for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson. Click the link in the description below to sign up today. Okay. Back to our story. As we explore St. Vincent's message, it's crucial to dispel the notion that humans, even the souls of little ones, can be angels. However, our Lord's words in Mark chapter 12, verse 25, emphasize that in the resurrection, we will be like the angels in heaven. This implies a call to imitate the purity and virtue of the holy angels rather than a transformation into celestial beings. So, St. Vincent Ferrer is not an angel, but his title, Angel of the Apocalypse, is given to him for other reasons. He was, his biographer writes, the last medieval man, the last perfect fruit from the St. Dominic's tree, in full blossom during those last two centuries of wonderful fertility. He witnessed the decline of that age of faith, saw the world flee Catholicism, and played the same role that the Angel of the Apocalypse, of whom he was the appointed forerunner, will play in the final days. P. H. Fagg's History de Saint Vincent Ferrer, Volume 1, page 329. Vincent Ferrer's prophetic ministry mirrored that of the prophet Isaiah, who, in a vision, received a divine command to preach difficult truths of repentance and chastisement. Our Lord later told his followers when explaining the purpose of his parables to rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew chapter 5 verse 12. St. Vincent, like the prophets of old, preached the message of sin and chastisement 
but was unheeded. Our Lord, too, though he was not only a prophet, but also the Son of God and King of prophets, when asked by his disciples why he spoke in parables, replied, Because seeing they see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Matthew chapter 13, verse 13. It may seem like we are called to be prophets, but our Lord said in Matthew chapter 23, verse 34, that he would send prophets to proclaim the truth, even in the face of persecution. The correlation between Isaiah, Christ, and St. Vincent Ferrier points to a universal call for humanity to speak the truth, even if chastisement becomes unavoidable. Did not Our Lady also preach the same message of chastisement at Fatima? Our Lady herself warned in a prophecy of the spread of errors, wars, and persecutions if her request for reparation were not heeded. She mentioned that various nations will be annihilated. She urged the Fatima children, and all in turn, to sacrifice yourselves for sinners. As we have seen, Our Lady's requests at Fatima were not heeded. World War II occurred, and Russia spread its errors throughout the world in the form of communism. Another chastisement is to come, and Our Lady's Immaculate Heart will triumph only after it ends. You and I want to be on God's side when that time comes, so here's what to do. Speak the truth and defend the honor of God, even in the face of rejection and persecution. Continue to pray the rosary daily, practice penance, and cease offending God, who is already greatly offended. Uphold the First Saturday devotions in reparation for blasphemes against the Immaculate Heart of Our Lady. Go beyond private reparation to defend the rights of God, Our Lady, and the Church in the public square, because God deserves to be honored by the public, not merely in private. Hence, public blasphemy requires public reparation. Deepen devotion to the holy angels, seeking their assistance in defending our Lord and Lady's honor. As we reflect on the life of St. Vincent Ferrer, let us unite in prayer. St. Vincent Ferrer and the holy angels, pray for us. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and return for the next installment in our Angel series. Every new Child of Mary member gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they join. Become a Child of Mary today by clicking right here on your screen. As soon as you join, we will start sending this beautiful and spiritual Catholic magazine straight to your front door. Thank you, and may God bless you.